Hey guys, so we're going to start at pistolapp.com. And this is where you're going to be able to create uh, all sorts of really cool original sprites that you dream up for your game, including all of your character states, your player states, and your enemies and uh, projectiles, bullets, whatever it is you want to create for your game. It can all be done here in Pistol. So you can create a sprite here to get started, or you can just go ahead and I think in login, they, they want you to jump in with your G mail. And there's that handsome devil there that you know and love. And now here's my gallery of pistols that I've created. And you can see I've got my various character states, right? I've got my walk or run. I've got my jump. I've got my dead. I've got my idle. I've got fireballs and enemies in here, right? And they're all part of my library of even my butt, my my little guys created a couple of these. Miles and Teo. Uh, these are the guys that get set free at the end of my level. Here's my prison gate that goes up, you know, my health icon and my pickup. So all this stuff can be found in your gallery. And if you want to work on something specific, you just go to the edit button on that particular pistol. And you've got your layers here. You've got all your tools here to play with and try to draw. Uh, we're going to spend some time in class going over how to use this app. But I would encourage you to just go in here and play. Uh, you've got layers so you can put different parts of the body on different layers so you can move them around a little easier. So you can see on this one I have a torso and uh, two different arms and two legs. And I'm moving them all independently in the frames on these separate layers. The layers help me do that with these tools. I've got a color palette that saves as I go. Before you start working in Pistol though, I really think the most important thing you can do to start is to go to this resize button. See this resize button here. And you're gonna wanna start at about 96 by 96, right? And set that as your default. Uh, you don't want 32 by 32, which is what it starts you off at automatically, I think. Uh, that's a little too small for Unity. And then, of course, when you put a lot of work into your pistol, I mean, this one's only three frames long. You can see you can get a pretty effective running animation with just a few frames. Notice I have him bobbing up and down, too, in the pistol. So it appears like he's running. So I've moved his torso down a little bit in one of the frames. Once you're finished making the pistol, you're going to hit save and it'll save it to your gallery right here. And then uh, you can export it with this button here when you've finished all of your graphics and you want to start saving them locally so you can import them into Unity. You'll click here on this export button. And of course, you want the resolution 96 by 96 and download and it will give you your sprite sheet of the various frames uh, as a PNG, as a transparent P PNG, which is very good because that's what we'll need for the next lesson when we're importing our graphics into Unity.